It's a good thing that most people who play um, CBs are really shit at using the bombs. I think uh, this this I think this is a clip of it. He's 19k HP and he gets yes. Yeah, oh, sorry, it was 17.7. DDs are overpowered. That doesn't happen very often. Yeah, because luckily most of them are really shit at using the bombs. Thank God for that. The only thing keeping CDs in check is the fact that the average player base is dog shit. Look at that, taking that fun. With, with my help, you should win it pretty easily. Yeah, broke this shit. I don't think I need Hydro if you get the spots in, but... Kommen Sie zurück. Let's go this way. Oh, there it is. Okay, so his plan is to... Do a lot of both of us, I think? Yeah, he got fucking dumpstered. As long as this guy dodges... Is, is he dodging all of it? Oh, that was well done. That was well done. I'm complimenting him. Gonna run away. Almost guaranteed. Let's go farm these guys then. We got a good crossfire going. In. Well, if the Lepanto was wider, we'd have a better crossfire, but doesn't that thing have a setup? I'm pretty sure that thing has a pretty sizable setup. I don't wanna go behind that time. Man is fucking ignoring me. Tunnel vision on pushing in. Sadly, it's written in the rules of World of Warships that you can only get one citadel per volley. You're not allowed to get more than one citadel. It's, it's written in the rule book of World of Warships. It's unfortunate. Otherwise we could do more. These guys are being rolled on. They're just being fucking steamrolled. Jesus, why is he sitting still so close? Why isn't he kiting more? Is this guy just gonna run at the Lepanto? I think it is. I think it's just fucking. What? Zero self preservation. Holy shit. We smash him for free here. Zero damage to this thing, Sam. He's turning his back dirt for me. He won't fucking die, man. Good lord. He's actually refusing to die. That's a oh, wow. That sucks. I don't know why this fucking Lepanto didn't finish this guy first. 
Ignore the guy that was walking on him. Save the Lepanta fishes for you. You can have your fire RNG advantage. I don't care. That was fucking juice. Oh, we bypassed this turtle back. Let's build up some speed so I can turn around. There's a risk I start turning now because so she smashes me. Fuck at the YOLO. No, no, okay, he's a pussy. He's a pussy, look at him. He's not even going nose and he's kiting. <gasps> Disgusting behavior. Disgusting behavior. I'm going nose in. That was perfect. Now we run at him. It's too late to turn out again with your rudder ship, buddy. You can try. He's gonna try, isn't he? I guess. He's panicking. Oh, yeah. Oh, God! Okay, we need to get behind him now. We need to get behind him now. We need to force him to give that juicy. He's kiting this way, so we want to be kiting this way. Force him to give more broadside if he wants to shoot him with me. So we can do this is the way. There's the loot to six. That's why we're going behind him. If I kept going this way, I'd never get the angle. But behind him, we can get the angle and we can actually come out on top of him. Maybe. He's going to be forced to turn again. Yeah. We win. Get fucked! I'm better! Get fucked! Get fucked! That was uh, my basic kiting guide that I put into use. I've talked about it before. You always want to kite the opposite way that the enemy is kiting. Misashi does so much damage. Yeah, of course. He's, it's, a, it's a tier 10 ship in tier 9. It's completely busted. But um, I've, we, we, wait, we, forced him to, we waited until he turned in before we rushed him. Because we knew he wanted to kite. If I'd pushed straight into him when he was like this and he starts kiting... Uh, he would have killed me, guaranteed. But he had to turn in, turn out, and he lost so much health in that. Mm. But it was pretty good gunnery from him. Yeah, I mean, he aimed correctly. He aimed where he should. He used his aura match to smash me. He kept shooting my nose. And that's... I noticed that the first volley. That's why we made sure to maximize kiting angle.
Mm -hmm. We take it. 272 in rank. We take it. It might have been pretty decent. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. He was a Unicum, Super Unicum. But we baited him in. And we forced, we forced the close range. So, like, my guns did 77, but I got another 34. And we got a permafire on him on, at the end as well, because he, <laughs> he disappeared. So we had, we had a permafire burning on him, I think. But oh, straight up, we just outgunned him, honestly. That's what it comes down to. We outgunned him. We did 77k to him, and he did uh, 68 to us. So we straight up main gun outgunned him. But that's a problem with Yamato Hall. Terrible rudder shift and incredibly vulnerable hull. That's why if if he was kiting, we would have lost. But if he forced the fight, we would. I lost the other one with. Let me just check. Oof. Yeah, this was a team of all time, unfortunately. Thank you, by the way, an anonymous gifter for gifting a sample to how to not be retard. No, seriously. Last well, minute. No, but that was the that was the classic. That was the that was the. If we hadn't used the kiting advantage, or or the kiting guide, we would have lost. Like, if a ship goes this way, if you're chasing a ship that goes like this, if you go like this as well, you sail in the same direction as he does. He can shoot in front of you and maintain angle. Especially if he's trying to shoot your nose like the Musashi was using our match. Then he has to shoot like that. He, he gets to shoot like this and angle him. Whereas you have to shoot past him over here. Because you got you, because of shell travel time you got to shoot in front of him. So this, this angle of kite favors him. But if you turn like this. So you're going this way. And he wants to shoot your nose. He has to turn all the way to get these front guns to target your nose. So, like, he has to give more broadside every time. And against Musashi, has a cheek weakness at the stern. Every time he has to turn to get his front guns to shoot you because you're going this way, you get to shoot his cheek citadel in the stern, which is what I abused against him. So that 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 choosing which angle you which angle you you chase someone at is incredibly important. Normally, Musashi should have also turned the ship like this, so he's once again kiting the advantageous angle. But Musashi's few weaknesses is uh, terrible turtivers. So if he starts spending time turning his entire ship around, um, it he takes a lot of secondary damage. I think he might have still, probably still should have done that, because he could have just gone perfectly stern, use his back turret while his main guns are turning, and he might have still come out on top. I don't know. Can you show exact Citadel spot for Pomer, Pomer and GK? Well, Pomer kind of has two. Pomer kind of has two. Basically, the first issue is the same as on GK. You've seen me Citadel GK a couple of times. And that's you shoot here. And if the angle is correct, you punch through here. And you bypass the turtle back and you reach the Citadel. So you're basically, you're coming from an angle. You bypass the turtle back. Because turtle back stops here. So when you see me Citadel GKs, it's the same thing as Citadel and Pomerns. You can punch through here. However, Pomern and FDG has a secondary weakness. Uh, they're, they're the same hull. Pomern is FDG hull. Their secondary weakness is the fact that their skirt is very short. The skirt is very short. What I mean with the skirt is this. If you look at GK Turtleback. Let's see. Where's, let's put it German. If you look at GK Turtleback. You see that GK Turtleback. It goes deep into the water. Deep into the water. However, FDG Turtleback doesn't go nearly as deep. So what this means is, when he turns, the entire ship lists. And when the ship lists, what happens is it, it lifts the skirt out of the water. So if you see someone and you start turning out, sorry, turning in, your ship lists and you raise the skirt. And you can actually shoot underneath the gun, underneath the turtle back to reach the zipper. So that's FDG's and the Pomerans, uh, FDG's and Pomerans weaknesses. Basically, only do like a half turn. No, you turn when you turn when his guns are reloaded. If you turn, if you if you turn instantly, you're fucked. I think I'm. Uh, I think I. Hell. I think I covered this back in the day. Could it have been maybe here? Oh yeah, I think it's here. I covered this back when I covered the Pomeran ages ago. I mean, it still applies. It's the same same shit as three years ago. But like, you see the way my ship is listing. You see, I'm turning again. My ship is listing. You see those thunder shells coming in. 
That was a double citadel. Yeah. Those thunderous shells passed right underneath that turtle bank, straight into the citadel. Yeah, exactly. PLDR, ship lists affects your armor model. PLDR. Okay. Anyway, where was it? 